Ladies and gentlemen, it's Design Slider. Ooh, this is what some people are doing. They stopped a paying for Microsoft Office software because they discovered it is free, it is legal, and it is official from Microsoft. Let me show you how some people access and use Microsoft Office for free to enjoy popular Office applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Forms, Surveys, and more in the free version of Microsoft Office. I will also show you how you can share your files to allow collaboration. If you're ready to unlock the full potential of Microsoft Office at no cost, let's dive in. Open your browser, any browser of your choice that works best for you, and go to office.com. Welcome to Microsoft 365. This button, Get Microsoft 365, is for the paid version. If that's what you want, please go ahead. But this video is about the free version of Office. So click the sign-in button. If you already have an account with Microsoft, please put in your credentials to sign in. If you don't have an account, then create an account. It is absolutely free and it does not take time as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also interesting that you are not limited to Microsoft domains such as abc at microsoft.com, outlook.com, or hotmail.com for your email. You can use Gmail, Yahoo Mail, or any other email domain you already have to create this account. I already have a Gmail and I'm going to use my Gmail to create a Microsoft account here. I don't think I've ever used my Gmail account on Microsoft platform before, so I don't understand why it says I may already have an account. I think I will just go with create the account anyway. Microsoft has sent a code to my Gmail and I open it on my mobile phone to put the code here and verify my Gmail in this Microsoft account creation process. Then I need to verify that I'm not a robot, so I enter these characters here. Wow, the boom is here. On the left menu, we have the Microsoft Office apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all others. We also have them in the Create New section, where you can easily use any of these to start creating new files or projects. So I use this to open a new Word document. And yes, we have it open, with all the features that we expect to have in the Office Word app. Now, as I just type this text, you can see the cloud icon with a tick at the top. That shows this document is auto-saved. And of course, you can rename the file. Just click on the document name and rename it. You can click outside or press enter key and it is saved. After this, just continue your work and don't worry about saving it. It saves automatically as you continue working. Warning, be sure to connect your device to the internet while you're here. To access your saved work in the future, on the office.com homepage, scroll down to the section where your different works from the past are saved. Okay, so you have documents or files already saved on your device. How will you open the documents on your computer without the regular Office apps that work offline? On the office.com homepage, go to open New Word or PowerPoint or Excel, depending on the file type that you want to open. When the blank page opens, go to the top and click File. Then scroll down to click Open and navigate to open files from this device. Then find the exact location where you have the file you want to open. I already have mine here. I can double click to pick it or I can select it and click Open. Oh, oops, this error came up. Check your browser pop blockers. For those who may get such error like this in Chrome browser, quickly go to the top right and open the pop-up blocker before it disappears. Select Always Allow Pop-Ups and Redirects from this Microsoft website address. Click Done, then try opening the file again. And there we go, the file is opened. Excuse me, I hope you know all I have shown you so far is not only for Word documents alone. Every demonstration I'm showing you in Word document works the same way with PowerPoint presentation and Excel workbook here in office.com. Since this is an online-based app, you may want to download your work into your computer as an offline document. Go to the top and click File. Scroll down to Create a Copy and select Download a Copy. This would download it as an editable document on your device, and you can work on it offline or share it as an attached file. You may also want to download it as a PDF file. Go to File at the top and scroll down to Exports you will see the option to download as PDF on your device. Then it can be used offline and for any other purposes. 
Another sweet feature of this is that it is easy to collaborate with other people or work together on the same document in real time. Go to the share button here and expand the dropdown. You can copy the link directly and share it with others for them to either have access to view this document or for them to be able to edit it depending on your choice. For you to control either to view or to edit, then you go to select share. The file sharing control box opens. Here it says, anyone with the link can edit. If that's what you want, then leave it like that. Just click copy and share the link for them to have access to the same document and start editing together with you. But if you want to share the link so that whoever has the link will read only or only view the document and not edit it, then expand for more control settings and under more settings, change can edit to can view. Click apply and copy the link so you can share it with others. Let me show you how collaboration works. Here I have logged into the same document with two different accounts, assuming to be two different people working on the same document at the same time. So whatever the person on the right side account is doing will be showing or reflecting simultaneously on the page for the person on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you have learned how to access complete full features of Microsoft Office completely free.